Boy. Nah, you ever stop and think like a nigga is fully clothed from the chest up? And I'm not saying me. I'm not talking about myself. But imagine motherfuckers get on here, they do their stream, they fully clothed from the chest up. Everything below, naked. What would they, you wouldn't even know what to do. You wouldn't even know that it's done. Nah, but shut up and shout out. I said shut up. Nah, shout out to everybody, you feel me? Tunk back in. Hopefully this is not the first video you watch from me. You feel me? Because if you're familiar with me, you feel me? You know how I, how I get down, how I speak, you feel me? What type of takes I'll be having. And it's not nothing, no particular topic. I just wanted to, you feel me, have a little, kind of like a little, kind of like a little story time on they ass. You feel me? Like a little story on they ass. Um, I wanted to talk about kind of like, and it's just a, a, a dynamic kind of thing. You feel me? Like I, whoever listening to it is kind of something that just spark your brain a little bit. It ain't really nothing. You feel me? Um, definitive like a point that i wanted to make this you know i wanted to point it out a little bit i was telling somebody about my experience in college uh, not too long ago i went to college 2016 i had just turned 18 a month before college started um i was going i attended ohio university got in there you feel me didn't know nobody i knew people though but it wasn't a lot of bodies I knew. Shout out to my roommate, Tyler, Ashley, uh, Philo, Big Knots, Super Knots, Large Knots. Uh, that's That was my roommate. So I, luckily I had somebody who I knew for, you know, five plus years, probably like 10 years, probably at that point. Um, I don't know, but close to 10. You know, at that point, that's who I had to room with. So, you know, it wasn't like going to be some big, I'm actually living with somebody who I don't know. And it like, shout out to everybody whose college experience, that was it. Because that, God damn, I couldn't do that. I mean, I could, but it's just like, I'd rather not. I'm glad I didn't have to go through that. My college experience was way different though, you feel me? Um, It was a long, it was like the two week period of, the first two weeks where it was like, man, do I go ingratiate myself in inside society or do I allow do I allow society to ingratiate itself to me? And what y'all want to do? I need to be known. All right. But it don't need me. Y'all don't y'all don't realize that y'all need to know me is why I don't need. But we need to know each other, though. So, you feel me? I had to put myself out there. You feel me? Um, the very first thing I did, literally put myself out there. We had this shit called Group Me. Group chats, right? So, it was like, OU is not a predominantly black institution. So, all the black people in the, at the university, for, for the most part, was in one group chat. You feel me? It's about two, three hundred. It wasn't like a, a a small group chat. But the notable people, I don't have my glasses on if I look a little crazy. The notable black people in this, you feel me? This is where you can find them. You feel me? In that group chat, if you want to get a hold of anybody. You feel me? So it was like, I had made my way into the group me. Okay, boom, we in there. Next thing, you feel me? Because it's fine, it's it's. You feel me? I got to watch how I'm speaking. You feel me? Because I do got me a little... I do got that. You feel me? So I got to watch what I say. But it was a lot of shit in that group chat that I needed to attend to at the time. That it, You feel me? I needed to have to make sure that I was present for that. So I'm in there, man. Put my damn... I had one of them... Uh, You feel me? One of them selfies. You feel me? No shirt. Man, I put it in the group chat, man. They they made a meme out of me, man. They put the Jordan crying face on my face. And then that meme 
with the Jordan crying face on my face. You feel me? My body, you in the picture, but my face is Jordan crying, man. That became the profile picture of the damn group chat. So it was like, God damn, this is not how you wanted to get out there, but you out there. You know, so you out there and you in there. So you feel me? That was what that was. So now I'm ingratiating this. They know who I am. It can die down. It can die down. You feel me? It was a joke for a good, uh, you feel me? <laughs> we laugh. You feel me? It's funny for a little bit. We're going to get rid of it. You feel me? But y'all know now. You feel me? That died down. Hey, any humiliation, by the way, is it's is, is, is short lived. It don't have to be. You feel me? Because it, it mean more to you than it mean to the motherfucker who got the biggest laugh in the world out of it. That's one thing to remember. But yeah, so I I I I, I tried my luck with the white folk. With them crackers. Got out there with them crackers and they had my spits waiting on my body. So I get to a party. I don't know. I'm probably like a month in. Nah, I definitely wasn't a month. It was like probably still around that couple week, three week phase. Within that first month of me being there. I get to a party, man. Mosh pits everywhere. Natty lights. Travis Scott was blamming. When I say... Shout out to white folks. Shout out to Young Woe, Jack, Trey, Daniel, Dan the Man, the Trash Can, Fry Man. It was a bunch of white folk that I love them. I love them. You feel me? They was cool up there. I, you feel me? I had a great time. Shout out to y'all. It was a bunch of them, you feel me? All they, all they wanted to do was listen to Travis Scott. Back then, that's all they wanted to do. And and shout out to Travis Scott. 2016 was a crazy year for that nigga, man. But that's what this party consists of, man. It was a lot of, you feel me? Niggas was still getting boat shoes off, I think. Maybe. If it wasn't boat shoes, it was definitely still khaki shorts and, and Hawaiian-type, flannel-type, collar-type yamans. A lot of that going kegs, beer breath, uh, of course, no food, um, of course, no seasoning in the, you feel me, women department. It was no type of seasoning in there. You you looking out and you seeing pastry. So I seen a lot of pastry. I I had a good time. You feel me? I got in the mosh pit. I made myself, uh, I made the party come alive. That's what I did to the party. I made it come alive. You feel me? I'm in there all of about, you feel me, 38 seconds. You feel me? Couldn't have been two minutes. It definitely, you feel me, maybe a minute, but 38 seconds in the mosh pit was a crazy time. So, you feel me? I would say about 38, 37 seconds. Get out of the mosh pit, man. And this is, this is the point of the story that I wanted to talk about. You feel me? Just the dynamic of it. Man. Having a good time. Don't know how long I'm there. You feel me? I got the OU gear on. I got an OU shirt that I bought. I didn't get this for free. Niggas is wearing free OU merch. I'm buying this shit because I'm a freshman and I'm trying to ingratiate. Man, I get out there, man. Trying to, you feel me, drink a beer. I don't drink beer. I can't stand beer. I'm trying to do it. Next thing you know, the boys pull up. If you don't know who the boys is, them crackers pulled up. You don't know who them crackers is. Federal law enforcement pulled up to the venue. All right. I thought it was game over. Where I'm from, federal law enforcement is outside. You're not outside anymore. You go somewhere, you sit your ass down wherever you get to. So that's what I did. I seen them. I'm thinking, listen, cause you gotta, you gotta think like anytime it's ever been like a run from the cop type beat. It's a a joint thought. It's a collective thought. 
environment God thinks this. You feel me? Like, we thinking this as one in unison. I was wondering because it was a split second decision for certain. But I was wondering where the rest of the minds that were thinking in unison. I was wondering where I didn't I couldn't detect one mind that was in unison with Anyway, I made my way over a gate, slashed and sliced my whole leg up, slammed it. I'm talking about a crazy scar on my leg. That's how this even conversation came about with the person I was telling about this. Got my whole leg slammed up. I'm talking dribbling blood down the shorts, down the OU gear. Running. Adrenaline. I look back at the party. I get about 70 feet away from the party. They still having a good time over there. I, what's going on back there? I didn't go back. Of course, you know damn well I ain't go back to that bit. Of course I ain't go back. But I did need to know what was going on. Caught up with somebody who I, I had went to the party with later on. I don't know if it was the next day or that night. But I caught up with him and I'm like, man. What did you do after that, you know? I, I'm sure you seen the boys out there. What did you do? Nigga didn't do a damn thing. The nigga. And this is, that, that was really all my point. It was like the fact that where y'all from, the boys pull up to the function. And not for the slightest moment do y'all feel like y'all in trouble. Y'all don't feel like danger is around at all. Let alone one of y'all called these motherfuckers. If you black and you watching this video, raise your hand if you done called the boys more than five times in your entire life. No hands got raised. I... Nobody raised there. If you raised your hand, comment. Yeah, you feel me? I stand corrected. But nah, ain't none of y'all raised your hand. Come on now. Black people don't even get that luxury, let alone when they come around think you still welcome. When they hear, I'm not. How about that? If he here, this town ain't big enough. <laughs> this town ain't big enough. They're trying to slam and slaughter. Y'all ain't been hearing about what they did. 2016, they was still, it was still one of them type beats. Y'all forget Trayvon Martin really is a recurring story. Rest in peace to everybody that lost their life. You feel me? I'm not trying to make this nothing uh political or nothing like that. You feel me? I just wanted to point out the difference in you feel me, the mindset. And how people was raised with the, with the programming that, that really up here I was programmed. Get the fuck out of Dodge if you see the boys. What are you doing there? Buddy, why would you be there? Nah, real shit. A lot of, a lot of people who come from where I come from, their logic is, my nigga, if it's a hundred people to get caught, I'll be damned. If I'm one out of the hundred to get caught, I would so why would I wait until it's ninety and, and eighty and, and forty seven people left? No. I'm gonna be one of the first one hundred to leave. It just so happened out of a hundred, you had an uh one uh, percent that left. That was me. Not only did I leave, but thinking back on it, I had to be one of the only, you feel me? Colored folk at the damn party. Ain't had no business there. They damn near called the boys on me. Get them away. Now what if they did that? Call this the car they ass. Get this nigga out of the party. This nigga came, turned up all the parties, this nigga got all the bitches. It's like nah. But why would they like it's really some shit, bro? Like to really think how different 
society, how different mentality is, bro. That how how much what you raised around you feel me affects you. How much the people that went through the same shit as you and how much of that they overcame, you feel me? How much those people affect you? Cuz it's crazy to think our parents went through the same thing, if not worse. Or no, they went through worse. They had to overcome they little bit, but whatever that programmed them to do is what got passed on us. You feel me? It, it really made me think about what ideologies I'm going to pass on. Then you got to think about how what's shaping our mentalities today. You feel me? Our phones is shaping our mentalities, bro. You feel me? So the shit that you see on your feed, if this pop up on your feed, you feel me? It say a lot about the content that you interested in. Because they the way the way the algorithms is working now, they they trying to feed you shit that's you feel me, similar to the shit that you've been fed before. Or you've been you feel me? Oh, you like to eat this bet. Well, I got this. You feel me? That's how the algorithms in, on our phones is working. And it's crazy to just think about, you know. Because for me, I guess that would be called a culture shock. But in reality, bro, it's, it's, the, it's the result of being raised so differently for so long. And what I can't, is, you feel me? People are products of their environment. You feel me? And that shit don't get taken into consideration enough, I, I think. You feel me? But yeah, man, just wanted to share that little story, you feel me? I got a bunch of different story times, though. I'm going to actually make that a a, a regular thing, uh, story time. So, yeah, I'll see y'all, you feel me, when I'll see y'all. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this bitch.